This may be the largest 12-step meeting I've ever been to. <laughs> the only difference is none of us wants to get better. <laughs> There's where we start. The story is the story of Walt Disney. It's not the story of the Walt Disney Company. It's not the story of the Walt Disney Studios. It's not the story of the projects or the things. Very frequently through the design process of the museum, I had to over and over and over again explain to people that our museum is not about what, it's about why. Who was this guy? Why did he do the things he did? Why was he interested in the things he was interested in? Why does what he did continue to inspire us, to inform our lives, and to have relevance more than 40 years after his death? We wanted to take the idea that everybody pretty much will say Walt Disney was a filmmaker, Walt Disney was a cartoonist, Walt Disney was a uh, innovator in public place theme park design which weren't called theme parks really until Walt Disney came into the scene. What we wanted to show was that side of Walt Disney that people don't frequently get to see. The Walt who was just a man. So we started to tell our story and there's no better place in telling a story than to sort of start where you start. In each of the discrete areas, what we tried to employ was a sort of set decoration that gave uh, an idea of a, a sense of place and time. You have to think in a Walt sense. He would not put you in a sterile exhibit, white painted Museum of Modern Art room. He'd tell you a story. Marty's a, a, a unique individual in a lot of ways, and his career path has been a unique one. And I always, every time I talk with him or attend a, a conversation with him, find out some new aspect, some new insight. Uh, so it's just always interesting to have a conversation with Marty. Marty started his Disney career kind of out of, out of right out of college, as the saying goes. And you stayed at Disneyland after your initial success with. Uh, the Disneyland News. How did how did your how did you make the leap from the little ten cent newspaper into into sort of that that group? People didn't know what Disneyland was. We start we replaced the newspaper actually with this magazine, and it told a story about Disneyland, and and it was originally <laughs> called Disneyland Holiday, and that went for two issues, which were very successful. In fact, we carried advertising from other Southern California attractions, but then Holiday Magazine threatened to sue us, and so <laughs> we changed the name to Vacation Land. And this is very early on. You started to put your arms around and start telling the stories that originated with Walt. You you started to sort of interpret these philosophies and and to recommunicate and create communication that helped people understand what these really new ideas were about. So all these things, you know, put me in touch with Walt directly, and pretty soon I was writing specifically uh, materials that uh, communicated about Disneyland in his words, and uh, that was the start of about ten years where I, when I did that uh, for Walt. You know. What's interesting is he could communicate very intellectual ideas. It's just his vocabulary was such that people. You see it on the introductions to the early TV programs, and you can always sort of tell, I, I can always tell something that Marty's worked on for Walt versus, I don't know, Jack Spears and, and Larry Clemens and some of the other people who did writing for him for TV in particular, just by the choices of vocabularies. The one thing I remember you telling me uh, about was the way that Walt could tell you nothing at the same time as he opened up entire worlds of sort of your own imagining, and one of those things was the way he used the word thing. Yeah, that, that's true. I, I, you know, all of a sudden I realized he would say something like, uh, now the pirates of the Caribbean are going to burn and sack the town. 
and then we're going to then there, we're going to do some really exciting things. And you'd sit there and you'd say, "Wait a minute! They just burned and sacked the town. What's he talking about?" And you couldn't do this on a, on a written page, but the way he delivered that. So I started writing that in the things that he, uh, we were doing about the parks. And uh, if you look at some of those things, it's kind of magic because he just finished telling you something you're really excited about it, and then he throws out this thing about, and then we're gonna do some really exciting things. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what it meant, but, and I don't know if he did, but. But uh, it was, it, it was a, such a, a wonderful, simple way of communicating.